Hello there. Welcome back. Do you know what? English is a most craziest language. When you start getting deeper into it, you're definitely going to see lot and lot. It, it's a kind of ocean when you start understanding the language and try to use them in your routine lifestyle. When it comes to the question of types of English, even it astonishes to see that almost there are seven types of English which are being used across the world. what is in there immediately when it comes to the question of english yeah that's a language but how can you actually have a types in the language a language is something that is going to be only one of course yes english is a receptive language wherein it it it, it has actually been received throughout the world because of its dominance that's been through several years like the british actually spread the language across the world because of their colonial system which people might have already gone through the histories like they would have read through the histories as well because of this spread because of this particular expansion throughout the world there are a lot many english depending on the regional and the originality of the actual people in in the region itself depending on various regions it is being classified it has various difference in terms of idioms and phrases in in terms of grammatical a bit of changes in terms of spelling in terms of pronunciation in terms of using them in a sentence like these kind of basic structural and as well as vocabulary changes are there there are too much of slangs in specific to various regions that are being used only in those type of english in specific we can actually categorize them into seven though it has too many types depending on various various regions it's it has spread across spread across already so let's get into the types of it the predominant types of it it's basically north american north american is pred- being used across the northern parts of U- united states of america and the canada so some english is being a little bit modified and being used in some regions of this southern american region where uh, the other latin american uh, people use them with little bit of modulations as well and then the standard british scottish irish australian new zealand and singaporean so the north american as mentioned it's being used in us and canada and few regions of latin america as well not in specific to few regions but they do have some modulations according to the regional usage and they have a slang and pitches and pauses would actually get differentiated while they make use of the language when it comes to the question of british standard british is being used in britain and most of its colonies as well so when it, when i say that it, most of its colony as well it is most regions that is being occupied and been under the control of britain so in spite of leaving the control in spite of giving the independence for various countries the language has an impact in those regions and has almost become an official language one of the official language in all of its region that has been acquired and been uh, under the colonial control of britain so though that particular language that particular influence of the language has got modified because of the regional uh, influence and regional interpretations the predominant types is being used as the british the standard british accent the standard british english so that is being spread across various region and that is the most used language though we hear a lot of american accents and language because of more and more hollywood movies people still from the colonial regions go with the british english since it has a standard receptive language so, so someone is able to understand a standard british english definitely they'll be able to understand most of the other english as well and then the scotland scottish scotland is being scotland english is being used in specific to scotland as well and few parts of britain so since it's been part of already the 
Great Britain. It, it, it actually has an influence of the British English as well, with few thicker accent when it comes to the Scottish influence. Scottish language has got a thicker influence and most of the stresses and pauses would differ at various places. And few words that are being pronounced in a silent way manner that are being used in a different way is, is actually being stressed on the Scottish accent. So most Scottish accent were actually being difficult even for Britishers to understand if it is in, in, in specific to uh, a thicker accent or in specific to something which is more of the regional influence. Only a standard Scottish accent could be received by a British native speaker itself. Irish, of course, it's, it's, it's part of Ireland and the Northern Ireland, which is again a part of Britain. Great Britain is, is actually uh, used. It's like the UK's regions covered with Scotland, Irish, Northern Ireland and uh, Britain, the England as well. So because of this, the language has its regional influences. The Irish ac accent would actually roll a few of the words and that will have a different kind of pronunciation when compared to the British English. And each specific differentiation has their own slangs, their own phrases which actually are used in, in terms of the region, in, in mean to the, actually mean to the region as well. And as well as they do have some spelling changes. And some standard British spellings goes with SE sounds or UOR sound, UOR and the American and the other things would actually go with OR. So these are the basic differences when it comes to the English usage. Though all these has a predominant influence of the British English, they do have a specific value and the unique system wherein when it comes to question of learning the language English, you can either stick to any of these language any, any of these English as well. Then comes to the Australian, which belongs to Australia, New Zealand, again it's a part of New Zealand and then Singaporean which is also known as Singlish. So these three actually has uh, the regional dominance had, like when, when these regions were under the control of British, the language is being given, that has got a lot of changes and, uh, and has undergone too many changes and tremendous influence from their regional languages. Australia, which has too many slangs that are, that are not being used across the nations like across the worldwide language users but nowadays because of the advancements because of people migrating to like almost most regions is being influenced and it, you you have started to hear so many australian uh, language from various parts of the world as well because of the migrants from australia and people from the asian countries have started going to australia to learn english to learn the subject or to complete their education that is why the australian english is getting expanded across the world new zealand of course they they has some sort of uh, uh, regional ex expressions that are being in specific to new zealand though not much popular on the world arena but still they do have some sort of influence in the language and Singaporean is typically something which is being used with a lot of other languages as well because of the for most of its people are migrants, most of the people from other countries like China, Philippines and the other uh, Asian countries, it, it has got a lot of influence in the English language itself and it, it has been undergone through a lot of tremendous change in, in terms of the language and the language which they use is in specifically uh, being for popular in Singapore, though it is being circulated across the various parts of the world, still it, it, it's predominantly used in the Singapore itself. Though the term doesn't, though the English language used in Singapore doesn't have any specific significant modulations, it has a severe impact, like severe influence from the various other Asian languages that are being used in Singapore itself. 
so i believe that this particular lesson would help you to understand there how there are how many actual types of english being used across the world and what type of english you are already familiar with and what type of english you wanted to understand while learning english it is always interesting to learn different english and different modulation different accents and in specific to a specific in 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 depth analysis of a, a particular english or actually give you an insight of more and more its influence and more and more of its kind so i believe i've helped you with clarifying some sort of lesson here you can use them you can get benefited from them if you like this video give me a thumbs up share this with your friends so as to actually get benefited out of it subscribe to my channel for updates on the video thanks for watching bye bye